Is there any hope in this world filled with darkness? The answer is yes. Let's look into a couple creatures that shine their light in the darkness. In many places, go outside on a warm summer night and look around. In the darkness, blinking lights show up. These little creatures are called different names. Fireflies, glowworms, lightning bugs, and other names. There are over 2,000 different species of this beetle on all continents except Antarctica. Their bellies may produce yellow, green, red, or blue light depending on the species. They can vary in appearance and size with the largest being up to an inch long. Most are active at night, but some species are active during the day. The life cycle of a firefly is they become fertilized eggs on or below the surface of the ground, hatching three weeks later. Then the larva stage for one to two or more years, feeding until the end of the summer before hibernating over winter, sometimes more than one season. They emerge during spring and for several weeks feed on insects, snails, worms, or plants before becoming a pupa for one to three weeks, emerging as adults after that time. The male adults flash to find potential mates while flashing can also deter predators. Females can flash too. These fireflies can light up at the same time called synchronization. An adult typically lives three to four weeks before dying. Another interesting creature is a flashlight fish that produce a pale green light beneath their eyes that they can turn off. During the day, they stay in caves, but at night, rise near the surface to feed on plankton. These fish use their eyes to help see better, communicate with others of their kind, and confuse predators. The females can lay a thousand eggs in the Pacific waters they live. Let's relate some characteristics of the creatures talked about to our spiritual lives. Fleshlight fish can turn its light off. Jesus told us we are the light of the world and those who light a lamp don't put it under a basket. Let your light shine before men in such a way that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The flashlight fish can use their lights to communicate with others and the lightning bugs use their lights to communicate as well. Christians meet in churches, in homes, at parks, or even communicate electronically. And let us not neglect our meeting together as some people do, but encourage one another, especially now that the day of his return is drawing near. Imagine what a sight it is when the lightning bugs light up together. What must it be like for our Heavenly Father to hear us worship Him together? Oh come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. Our lightning bugs use their lights to find mates. Although we as human beings try to look our best and shine when we are looking for a spouse, I want to take this a different direction. What happens when we are shining the love of Christ and someone who isn't a Christian sees us and wants what we have? Shining our light in the darkness can and will lead people to Christ. The Bible says, I have come as light unto the world, so that everyone who believes in me will not remain in darkness. There are people in darkness who need to find the light of salvation. Each of us can be a part of leading them to Jesus Christ. Lightning bugs and flashlight fish can use their lights to deter predators. For the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. World forces of darkness and spiritual forces of wickedness exist. We are told to resist and stand firm. Remember, Christ gives us, believers, the victory. The Bible says, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. At first, it may seem like a strange verse of darkness not comprehending light, but look deeper. The Greek word for darkness is gatia, mentioned ten times in the New Testament. It can mean darkness, darkness due to a want of light. Ignorance of divine things, associated wickedness, result of the misery in hell. BlueLetterBible.org mentions John 1.5 refers to the last three definitions dealing with the spiritual, not the physical. The previous verse says, In him was life, and the life was the light of men. Then Jesus again spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. 
He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. But if we walk in the light as he himself is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus' Son cleanses us from all sin. For you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Are you shining the light of Jesus or hiding it? Lightning bugs and flashlight fish are two of God's created creatures that shine their lights. We too are created to shine the light of his truth in a world filled with darkness. Let it be said of each of us, we shine Jesus' light in the darkness. If you are not a child of light, Jesus wants you to become one. He loves you and died for you to give you a way of salvation. Please click on the Salvation Prayer video and make today your day of salvation. God bless you. Spirit.